ultra freak. Okay, go there. Show. The symposium should be here, Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. I'm excited about Fazil's lecture. He will share the wisdom of the universe. Pardon me, I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Fazil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'munia? Where is Arib? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden. Ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Ah, oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. Not translating. What is he still doing here? Hunayn, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wadaan. <laughs> That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmed ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, uh, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds.
this. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. There is that poet a bit loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos. I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahriman. Thank <laughs> you. 